Hey everybody, welcome to Rider Two Brief. I got a little bonus video for you. Sunday, wanted to show you what the tank looks like so far. Bare bottom, meaning no sand bed. There's a little bit of sand left, which I have to siphon out when I do a water change next weekend. And the rockscape changed <clears throat> a bit. Kind of like it. I've got one of the large rocks floating on top of the other rocks. And that's going to change. I'm just leaving it here for now because the fish went through enough stress when I was um, taking the sand out with a large net and doing a water change after. I scraped a lot more green hair algae off the back of the glass and the power heads. There's still more. I'm going to take one of the rocks out and scrub that down as well. But now. The water quality is a little clearer, a lot more clear actually, no sand, so much mud water was coming up and uh, it was just not good. It was so bad you couldn't even see the fish at one point and I was even going really slow with excavating the sand. So here's the bare bottom. It looks pretty sterile but to be honest I can get used to this. The water is going to be healthier, especially for me because I've got a lot of tangs. I love my tangs. There's a big bio load in this tank. They go to the bathroom a lot. I only feed them once every other day. But I think I'm going to like this. I was going to put granite tile in here. That would look really, really sharp. But to be honest, I don't think I'm going to right now. I'm just going to take a break from working on the tank a little bit. See how I like it. And uh, my plan is to have these star polyps extend down and cover the whole glass bottom. Which will be a nightmare if I ever tear down this tank. Um, I think I'm going to start selling some star polyp frags. A lot of people have expressed interest in them because they're the bright neon green ones. They're gorgeous. They're actually going to... I just turned the lighting on in the tank. But <clears throat> I've got... This whole rock filled, this whole rock, this whole rock filled. So this whole area right here is the gorgeous green, neon green star polyps. So in about another hour, they'll all be out. Um, everything's doing really well. The fish are doing really well. Looking forward to getting rid of the last of the sand. There's not much, I'll show you. Got some here. That's just the surface. These are looking really good. These, you guys, I gotta tell you, the glass is a little dirty, sorry, but these zoanthids, the video quality did not, does not do these guys justice. They're a different color than I ever remember them being. And they're open a lot more. When I had a sand bed, it, they were like more of a deep burgundy and they were not open as much as this. Starting last night, they've got like rows with pink specks in the center. I never had that before. I removed the sand bed and they're just gorgeous. They look more of a... A deep purple all blah color I never knew they had multi colors in them until I removed the sand bed and got rid of all that dirt water tar gunk that was trapped in the bed I'm so happy I I, I always thought that coral was just kind of like yeah it's all right but now it's gorgeous there are colors in it I've not seen before so I'm happy I'm happy that the maintenance will be less I'm happy that my water quality is going to be better. I'm happy that siphoning is going to get rid of a lot of the fish waste in here and it won't get trapped in the sand bed. So I'm happy. So that is just a little update. I really love the look of a sand bed, but to be honest, I'm not missing it right now. So if you're thinking about doing this, go ahead. Worst case is you put sand back. This took me maybe 
three hours to remove the whole sand bed and I did it over the course of two weeks spending like an hour each time I think it takes about an hour to remove a third of the sand no not even that about 30 minutes for a third of the sand bed now I just have some siphoning to do and basic rockscaping I like this layout it's a, it's kind of the same as what I had except for the floating rock which is against the glass I normally don't like to have rock behind the glass but the yellow tang has been hiding out underneath there and swimming through it like a cavern so I may leave it up there because he likes to swim around it and through it so anyway that's it subscribe don't forget to check out rodder2brief.com become a member and of course there's a Facebook page too links to all of what I'm saying in the video description below and uh, I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching I totally appreciate it I'm the murderer, guys. Watch out. <laughs>